cannot believe this. I am on my way down to Miami. My boys at Popcorn Frights have delivered yet again, but delivered big this time. If you haven't already yet, check out the trailer reaction to The Void we did. It was utterly amazing, mind-boggling. The most anticipated horror movie of I don't even know how long, months and months and months, and my boys at Popcorn Friends have got the Florida premiere. I'm heading down now to check it out. This is going to be absolutely amazing, and again, to top it all off, God, man, these guys are amazing. We're going to get a Skype interview with the directors after the movie. I cannot believe this. This, this oh, I'm dying. So, check it out. I'm going to have this special with the uh, Q&A with the directors, and then also the review of the film that I've been dying to see for more months than I care to count. I uh, better start looking at the road because I think we're getting into Russia. So, meet the directors, Steve and Jeremy of The Void. So, yeah, I, they can't see us, but, but we can see you. Um, this is our first time doing, uh, doing um, two, two Skypes at once, uh, having two locations, so it was uh, we were just getting it set up, there was a little technical thing, but we have it set up now. Um, I got the cha chance to see The Void uh, uh, last month, and, and I absolutely loved the film, and uh, my co-director Igor and I were like, we have, we have to premiere this in Florida, we have to show this to the audience. Um, we know a lot of, it's getting a lot of great reviews. People are, are bringing up films like The Thing, uh, Halloween 2, uh, di different films that they felt inspired. How did you guys come together, um, first come together for this film? Well, I mean, we've been working together for a long time, probably closing in on 10 years now, which is kind of weird to think about. But um, yeah, we, we both moved to Toronto in uh, 20. 11 and uh, we had we had talked about the idea of doing sort of a more straight up horror movie compared to the stuff that we had been doing previously like manboard uh yep yeah. <laughs> i'm yeah, gonna, we I'm, wanted to challenge ourselves and do something a little more like uh yeah serious and, and not rooted in parody the way that manboard and father's day were <laughs> We actually had uh, had an attendee here come with uh, with a Father's Day shirt. Are they still? Oh, they're still here. Um, I, I actually love Father's I'm Day. Take that shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> that unacceptable. He's actually wearing a void pin over it. Why well, you can leave that on? <laughs> yeah. Um, so you guys were uh, so you've known each other for ten years. Uh, what were some of the first uh, projects that you guys worked on together? Mm, a bunch of dumb shorts, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, like, 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 um, was that important? Uh, was that important in, rather than going in the air, way of a uh, digital for you guys? Well, I don't think digital really works the same in a horror film because you need to have something physically there for the audience to react to, uh, for it to really be effective. Like, there's nothing scary to me about like a computer-generated monster. I think you need to know that it's like can like it's physically there interacting with the actors uh, it just makes the fear more real and immediate so yeah I don't see how we would have done it any other way I, and I agree with I you just, I totally disagree and, <laughs> uh, I wanted to do everything CG with tennis balls on the end of sticks and uh, then I found out that we had no money to make the movie so we had to do it like this I, I yeah we should all oh no go ahead go ahead I was just going to say the irony of this movie is that we tout it as this practical effects uh, showpiece, but there's so much digital cleanup in this movie, like an excessive amount that Jar and I had to do ourselves. Uh, there's something like 300 visual effects shots uh, that we did, just, uh, just cleaning things up, fixing seams, taking out crew members and lights and all sorts of stuff, because when you're 
rush while you're shooting. You don't have time to really, uh, you know, make sure your frame is as clear as you'd like it to be. So, yeah, ironically, there is lots of digital effects in this movie. But I think it's really, I think it's really hard to avoid digital effects uh, when you're doing any kind of um, genre film. But it's it, the practical effects really stand out. And even if you use digital effects, it's well, a lot people don't really notice the digital effects. They they notice the practical effects. And you, when you do digital, you don't you don't want people to notice it. You don't want it to stand out. You want it to blend in, and it, it blends in great. Yeah, exactly. Um, I want to give the audience a, a chance to ask some questions. So, who has a question? Yes, uh, you. Come, come on over. Yes, you in the back. <laughs> and, and you, sir, you come down as well. Oh, thanks. All right, what's your name? Marianne. Marianne, hold on. I'm gonna put you on the corner. <laughs> Hi, this is Marianne. <laughs> Hi, Marianne. How are you? Okay, so this is my question. I want to know what are your personal views on death, and what do you personally think happens once you die? I think it's well, related to. Well, I think you go to a, a big dusty desert world, and then a pyramid <laughs> comes and covers above you. <laughs> I think you grow a big cocoon out of your back, and tentacles come out of your face. <laughs> and uh, you start killing me. I think you're supposed to. Uh, you're you're forced to watch Superman for the Quest for Peace repeated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like heaven to me. <laughs> hell, hell. Uh, what's your name, sir? My name's Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Hello. Uh, first off, outstanding job. I was really impressed. Uh, great, great Thanks. fucking movie. And uh, if I can ask, like, what's it like transitioning from a parody or a satire type formula into a more of like a hardline horror film? It, did you approach the project differently, or did you uh, uh, like approach it the same way? Thanks. Yeah, it was a uh, very different process. Um, I would say that the writing stage went on much longer. Uh, we had a pretty definitive script going into it, which I think in the past we haven't really used quite as much. Sure. Um, I don't know, Steve. How I do think. I think it was similar in that it was just as ambitious as our other movies, like unreasonably so. Like we, our ideas were still as big and crazy as they always were. It was just, uh, yeah, we didn't rely on comedy as a crutch, I think, uh, with this movie, which definitely made it more difficult and forced us to spend more time writing and discussing and trying to figure out how people would actually behave in these situations and not just resort to like goofy pratfalls to solve <laughs> script yeah. problems. So it's a, it's a very sincere movie and it's a bit of a different process dealing with the actors as well in that situation. Because um, everybody's taking it much more seriously and not constantly being self-reflexive and breaking out a character. Right. Cool. Well done, thank you very much. Great movie. All right. I'm, I'm going to just ask, uh, ask you uh, before I have the next question. Are you guys surprised about um, just the, the feedback the film has gotten since its premiere and just how many people are, are super excited for its release next week? I haven't paid any attention. <laughs> yeah, we've been so swamped with work, we haven't really had time to pay attention to any of this stuff. Oh, we've so it's been, nice to hear. We had people drive from two hours away to come, come see the film. I mean, that's just how excited people are to, to, to come see the boy. I hope it was worth it. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your name? We Mike. owe those people gas money, I think. <laughs> hey, my name is Mike. Uh, my question to you guys is, uh, what inspirations, if any, led to the story behind the movie? Um, well, and I think, I think we said it before, in a very broad sense, um, the certain mythology of H.P. Lovecraft was a, a big influence. Um, the weird fiction genre sort of as a whole. That's where Steve and my interests sort of intersect. Uh, I think the early Silent Hill games were Yes! A big yes. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Somebody clapping? <laughs> yes! Somebody's clapping yes. 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 Oh. Oh. It's a better Silent Hill movie than the actual Silent Hill movies. <laughs> Ooh, I'll take it. Oh, nice. Uh, right, that's you can tell uh, Christoph Gans that. What's your name? 
Hey, I'm Jackie. You can tell Michael J. Bassett that. <laughs> this is Jackie. Guys, um, my question is, what team was the most fun to film and which one was the I can't think of one fun film I, or one <laughs> fun scene to film. Uh, I would say that the inserts, the creature effects inserts that we shot after mm -hmm. the fact, mm -hmm. that was fun because it was us shooting a bunch of stuff in a little studio space for no money, just with a bunch of friends and a bunch of monster stuff that I whipped together and it felt like old times and there was no pressure, there were no like producers looming over us saying we had to hurry up and get stuff done. Uh, so yeah, it was just throwing slime around and having a good time. So uh, yeah. Yeah, it was a really yeah. troubled... Uh -oh. It's the void. <laughs> <laughs> it's the void. <laughs> I, th I think your partner went into the void. <laughs> Uh oh. I think everything's gone, gone. and uh, when we got to. Oh, he's a gunner. There we go. I love how you're looking around. Um, uh, but I think there's a ghost in here. Alright, so, uh, so, uh, okay. Where you going? What's your name? Uh, Ronnie. Ronnie. Hey, how's it going, guys? Yes, I I can kind of like standing back from it, I can certainly see it a little bit. Uh, like my favorites, I would say The Shining and Alien. Uh, I think Hellraiser 2 was definitely an influence on me. Because uh, that movie is awesome. And as far as my favorite horror movies, I'd also have to say Alien and uh, Phantasm. It's funny that you mentioned Hellraiser 2. Uh, last month we hosted the 25th anniversary of Hellraiser 3 yeah. with uh, with Anthony uh, Hickox here. So we celebrated. Oh the really? Yeah. It was it was a pretty. Oh awesome wow! Night. It was a lot of fun. Um, That's awesome. Uh, you are the. Are you are you? Uh, we have the final question here, and this is from the gentleman wearing the Father's Day shirt. What's your name? Uh, uh, Thanks. Oh, wow. Oh, sweet. This question actually is good about I know you guys are probably so Is it on the uncut version from Germany that I'm waiting for as well? Is it? I don't know. I have not seen it. You're, you're, uh, you're trying to find no sleep, no surrender. Yeah, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that was lost forever because uh, Adam's computer crashed and lost it. Yeah. Really? It might be floating around in a YouTube link somewhere, but uh, I don't know. And then what's the guy's next talk Oof. Retirement, probably. Okay. Yeah. Pay our bills and think of the next adventure. Maybe one of those Star Wars movies. Yeah. <laughs> the Void Two. Yeah, probably not the Void Two. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, highly doubt. Hey, we, we got we got one more gentleman here who I didn't see. Uh, what was your name? Uh, Kobe. 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 Hi. Hello. Uh, you know, here. Where is all the genital horror? Oh, they're there. You didn't see them? <laughs> no, I didn't. You didn't see Arkansas getting plucked in the eyes by tentacles? Why is that not with Well, watch it again. Because it's there. Uh, sure, why not?
We want to thank you guys for taking the time to do this QA with us tonight. Um, uh, the audience loved the film. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. And we want to thank you all for all the